The Man Who Escaped. Episode 18. Hugo has told Masters an old blind man and a girl have been looking for him. Coke and Kate have found what they think is Master's antique weapon shop. Coke didn't sleep very well that night either. He lay awake thinking. He was on Kate's sofa in the sitting room. Slowly, however, he formed a plan in his mind. He fell asleep around three in the morning. When he woke up, Kate was already in the kitchen making breakfast. What are we going to do now? She asked while they were eating. Coke didn't answer immediately. He stared into his coffee. He knew he had to make one thing clear to her. Have you thought what will happen to you if the police find me here? He suddenly asked. Kate looked at him coolly. We've been over this before, haven't we? Now answer my question. She answered. But they'll send you to prison if they learn you've helped me. I'll worry about that if and when it happens. All right, I'll tell you. But I warn you, if anything goes wrong, you might get hurt, badly hurt, he told her. Go on, I'm listening. We're going to try to get Masters to come here. That is, if the owner of that shop is Masters. Get him to come here? How? Coke began to explain the plan he had in mind. Eric Masters was cleaning an antique pistol when the phone rang in his shop. He heard a young woman's voice at the other end. I believe you buy and sell antique weapons, she said. Yes, that's right. I'm particularly interested in old firearms. My father is too. He has a number of 17th century pistols, and he wants to sell some of them. Uh, would you be interested? Certainly. If you bring them to my shop, I'll look at them and give you a price. Well, unfortunately, my father's blind. It's very difficult for him to get about. Would you mind coming to our place? The woman answered. Masters managed to answer calmly. Well, uh, my assistant is out to lunch. I'll come over when he comes back. Is that all right? He noted down the address she gave him and hung up. His hands were trembling slightly. These must be the people Hugo told me about, he thought. He reached into a drawer and took out a pistol. This one was not an antique. It was a small, black, nasty-looking automatic. <laughs>